What's going on guys and welcome back to Pokemon Arcade. My name is Jordan if you're new here and welcome to how to upgrade your bike in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to be getting into is how to upgrade your bike's speed and duration. That is done in this early area of the wild area outside of Modestoke City. Later on, we'll get into how to upgrade your bike so it can go across water, but that'll be a little bit later in the game. So for now, leave Modestoke and head down this direction to the east, yes, east of Modestoke. The way I was facing it looks like it's west, but I promise it's east, down to North Lake Mylock, and we will use our Rotom power-ups as much as we can. I have plenty of watts for this. You will need, I believe, 9,000 watts, but we'll confirm that in just a moment. We've powered up again. Then you make it to Giant's Seat and continue heading right. We'll do our best to avoid getting in any battles here. Make it to this bridge and then you'll want to come... Actually, I was thinking he was across, but it's this gentleman right here. So you'll speak to him and he'll say that he notices you have a bike and invite you to participate in the Rotom Rally. But what you can do is go down to the Improve Your Bike option and he will give it extra power to charge up your Turbo Boost. It'll cost a thousand watts for the first upgrade. And now that we have extra ones, he wants us to try the Road Time Rally again, but instead we can talk to him one more time, improve our bike again, and he can make our turbo boost charge up even faster for another 3,000 watts. So now we're up to a total cost of 4,000 watts. He still wants us to try the Rotom Rally, but one more time, go ahead and go down to improve your bike one more time, and he can increase your turbo boost charge speed up to its max for another 5,000 watts, for a total of 9,000 watts. And once again, he wants to invite you to the Rotom Rally, but you need not do that. Now, you have your fully charged up bike, and it can go significantly quicker, and will charge up much faster. Look at that, already charged up again. So now you can get moving around the wild area as fast as you possibly desire. Make sure you don't run into any of those very strong looking Pokemon. A little bit later in the game, we'll come back and go over how to power up your bike so it can go across the water. But for now, I'll see you guys a little bit later. What's going on guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Arcade's video on how to get all of your bike upgrades in Pokemon Sword and Shield. As you can see here, we have some gameplay from my Pokemon Shield Let's Play series, showing you that we're on Route 9. Once you've made it to Route 9, just south of Sir Chester City in the 6th gym, you will be able to proceed down Route 9 and once again take on Team Yell in order to save the doctor who keeps your bike upgrades in his possession. This is the same doctor from Route 5 who gave us the previous upgrades in order to drive the bike in the first place. As you can see, there's a couple of trainers you have to fight as you proceed down the route. We'll speed up through this real quick so you guys don't have to watch too much. But it's really only one trainer before you arrive at Team Yell trying to save this large Dreadnought from what they believe is a human bothering him as he tries to cross this lake. However, you can see it's not a big deal to take them out. We've already saved the Dreadnaw, and now they realize they can ride this Dreadnaw, apparently. They wanted the bike upgrade so they could swim alongside it to ensure it got there safely. And now, now that they make their way out of here, you will be able to talk to the doctor and receive your upgrade. In fact, Mr. Doctor Man, it would be great if I could ride my bike on the water. Can you please give me that upgrade? And there you go. Now we have the new Water Rotom bike. Let's do a little bit of an example. Simply get on your bike, ride it into the water, and it will transform as you need it to. And as you get back on land, it transforms back into a regular bike. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more awesome content regarding guides, Pokemon Let's Plays, tier lists, and any other things we decide to do related to Pokemon. We'll catch you guys back here next time.